Let's save Anais. Can we go? Brigitte Papabrock. She gave me some pretty good leads. Tell me. Baron Kimbold hired some thugs to murder the royal bastards. Son of a bitch. Falters never trusted him. Turns out he was right not to. It was Count Merivel who kidnapped Anais. He wanted to hand both children over to the Nilfgaardians, but Busi was killed. Damn it all. Radovid is one thing, but Nilfgaard? But I get my hands on Merivel. You won't. I delivered the evidence against both of them to Natalis, but the constable decided to ask Kimbold for help and arrested Merivel. Wise. There will come a time for Kimbold as well, but Maravel needed to be removed immediately. A traitor is a traitor. They should take off his head. Can we go? Let's do this. Deathmold is a dead man. I'm guessing you don't have a plan. In fact, I do. We need to kill Deathmold and rescue the royal child. You never did like playing it by ear. I learned from the best. See that? Deathmold's put up that magic barrier again. Apparently not a single sound seeps through. I dread to think what he's doing inside. Why are you here? We have business with Death Mode. The sorcerer is busy. No one's to disturb him. Recognize me? Should we? Of course you should. Unless you don't care about being promoted. <laughs> Who are you? Now! Very good work of... Left sign magic. Very good work of sign this magic. This is my banquet. I don't want any unwanted guests. Hold on now, let me prepare. I... I God damn it. Up top! Help me up! The low road's yours. I'll take the walls. Let's do this. Close that cursed gate! I don't think so. Ready, Geralt. Let's keep on storming Who the you castle. Are here, you You're dead meat. Send for reinforcements. Block that swiping passage. Come on. Men your positions, you horse sons. Close ranks. Crossbow, Gareth, leave them to me. Close ranks! Tyka! Tyka! Defend the passage! I'll make mitts made of your oars! Attack! At them! Ah. 
Hell Geralt! For Hansalt! Get out! Coming over to you. Do it. Oh, hello. Stop teleporting! Sounds like he's awfully busy. Rude as it is, I'll have to interrupt. Strangely quiet. I can hear him. Deathmold's here and he's not alone. Hello, my king. One crime that all civilizations consider irredeemable and unforgivable. Regicide. A transgression of laws both human and divine. A blow to the vital organs of society. That is why those in power create bloody havoc and wallow in it. They are never punished. Not subject to moral judgments, they stand above the law. Henselt's blood now stains Roach's hands and mine. I could have stopped him, but I didn't want to. Now Henselt is a cold corpse, and the blue stripes in the world beyond are laughing. Main event. Did you see Radovid's retinue? I swear the snot-nosed lad thinks he's king of the world. He should never have shown up here after the recent events in Redania. Honestly, if he grows to be another Vizimir, I hope he ends up like the first. And those robes of his, did you see? <sighs> All right, there's time for one more. Pants off. Broken my arm! <laughs> You've broken my arm! Do you know it's worth, you son of a bitch? Now it's worth shit like the rest of you. <laughs> what do you want? I'll give you anything. You can't give back what you took from me. Cutting off your balls and slitting your throat will have to do. No! <laughs> you reap what you sow. Time to free Falter's daughter. Safe. Oh, that's a safe. 
Death Mold Swan, Vran Sword. This thing is ridiculous. Have mercy, he forced me. Have mercy, he forced me. Oh, my God. Forgotten Vran sword. Mine is much better. Are you all right? I am Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touched her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid, and Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. Kings only keep their promises when it suits them. We saw him together. You heard what he said. You didn't have Anais then. Now you do. Take a minute. Consider your options. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. Well, you need to start thinking like a diplomat. You're about to decide Tamaria's future. Here's my reasoning. I don't trust Radovid. Remember in the first game? He used Salamandra when he saw that Salamandra was useful to his goals. As soon as Salamandra was not useful, he contacted Geralt to end them. Furthermore, I truly believe... Tamaria's situation is completely... in mayhem. It's chaotic. No legitimate descendant of Foltest in the eyes of nobility and since there's no legitimate descendant heir to the throne all the nobles decide that they are to rule and the only way for all the nobles to rule is to divide Tamaria in provinces that would be chaotic from what I can tell in the game now the best outcome is for Tamaria to solve its problems within its own country and to do that we need to deliver Anais to the Tamarian representatives in Lokmuin Natalis is the one we want hopefully he will handle this correctly and with efficiency, or else Temeriel will be steamrolled by Nilfgaard or Radania. Since Radovid might be a little bit angry when he learns that Anais is not going to Radania, it will stay in Temeria. So, let's see if I can pull this outcome off. Do you trust Radovid? I want to believe kings don't generally spout nonsense. Kings never say what they mean, only what they want you to hear. What would Radovid gain by allowing Tamaria to remain independent? Well, he married the eldest of Foltest's daughters and will wait until she bears him a child. In which case he'll marry Anais after one of his barons. If Ada fails to produce an heir, he'll rid himself of her. He'll marry Anais and unite the two kingdoms. Anais is not of age. But she will be. The Kingdoms United could even resist Nilfgaard. Anais won't don the crown anytime soon. A lot could happen in the meantime. A lot could change. True enough, but you can't predict everything. Still, it might be worth trying. What else could you do? Nothing. I either break my pledge to Radovid or honor it. Suppose you break it. I'll make another enemy. Enemies are something you can handle. You said so yourself. The Temerian delegation is in Loch Muin. Maybe we should consider handing the child over to them. John Natalis. Good soldier, poor politician. Natalis may not be the most polished diplomat, but both your grandmothers tilled the same soil. Your grandfathers fought side by side. By taking the child to John Natalis, I'll spark a civil war. The barons won't acknowledge her right to the throne until they feel a boot on their neck.
I don't doubt Radovid will bring the Temerian barons in line. The question is, will he stop there? It's risky, I know. But when I'm to choose between civil war and an uncertain alliance with Redania, I choose the latter. Temeria's got a mess to clear, but in its own backyard. The neighbors needn't help. You've convinced me. Radovid will have to consolidate his power without me. Come, child. I'll take you to a safe place. <laughs>